Hey there, Brian Cohen here live from the Kobo Writing Life Facebook page. So excited to be taking over today. This has been a lot of fun. I had a little question based on something I've been working on, you guys. I have never been very good at rewarding myself for the things that I accomplish. And hey, I'm a writer. I run a small business. There's lots of little things that need to get done, but I do not always, I do not always give myself the credit for this. I do not always say, even just give myself a pat on the back. I, I like to think of it as uh, I, I'm the kind of person that moves the goalposts. I have a goal and then I push it a little bit further. And I am certain that you out there, there are a ton of writers, a ton of authors who do the same thing. They do not kick back and relax and deservingly take that time to reward themselves. So I would love to know what kind of rewards you've given yourself, uh, what kind of things do you feel as though you deserve? Is it just a, a, a nice drink with some friends? I, I personally am a nerd. And so one of the things I've done a couple weeks ago, my big reward uh, was to go see Ant-Man 2. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Uh, one of the reasons I write in the superhero genre is because I love superhero movies. So I, I always try to go out and see those Marvel movies. Uh, and yes, I do have a toddler, as you can see from the background here. So I do need to, to really make the effort to go out there and do the work because uh, the, the rewards for the work or else uh, I'm just not going to get it done. So uh, last week, the reward was a, uh, a trip to an arcade to go play some video games and drink some drinks. And I'm on Weight Watchers, so it was just one drink. And, and then this week, I actually am a soccer player. I play soccer on the weekends with the team Zombies FC. And I, I went out and, and played a little bit of soccer, just dribbled around the ball, kicked it around. A beautiful day here in Chicago, Illinois. So it was great. So I would love to see what kind of rewards you give yourself. Uh, I don't see any quite yet, so I'm going to probably... Just take a second to answer a couple of questions. I will respond to this both live and on the uh, on the comments here. Monica asked, as far as author marketing goes, I'd love some information on developing my author brand. I have quite a few books out there and a decent-sized fan base of ghost story lovers, but as far as having that snappy one-liner that describes my brand, Dudsville. Where can I go for that? That's a really good question, Monica. I think that it's certainly helpful to have an author tagline. I don't think you necessarily need one. Uh, you've got a decent sized fan base. Maybe you could ask them, see if there's anything that sometimes I, I look at author reviews to see, okay, where is, uh, what, what are my readers saying? and kind of take the language that they're using and 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 change that around so that it so that I can use it for my my taglines my hooks for my books and so uh, I, I have similar advice kind of in here from Courtney earlier just make sure kind of you hit that conflict of what your whole series is about what your main character is dealing with in these ghost stories and then write 15 to 20 versions of that and then kind of uh, try to rework that so that you can see maybe uh, this part of sentence eight works with this part of sentence 15. You combine that, you try some new versions. It's not easy to write strong copy, to write that strong one-liner, but, but I would definitely consider go to your fans first, get some ideas from them, then sit down and try to pen your next one. So, um, 
Oh, Monica, you were in the comments here. I didn't even see. I'm so glad you you liked that idea. Uh, Chrissy is all about getting some nice wine rewards, from what I can tell, from what I, <laughs> from what I see here. And hey, um, I believe it's about here. I'll, I'll pull up, pull up my Weight Watchers app, just so you guys know that I'm not lying about being on Weight Watchers. My Weight Watchers app here. Let's let's bring up how much wine is. So, for five fluid ounces of wine, it's four points. Let's see if we can make that even bigger now. It's four points. So uh, I have to be very careful, Chrissy, about how much wine I consume. I actually haven't had any wine since my wife and I went on this a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to just like this. If anybody has any other questions, I'm going to pull these up. Uh, Raniel has a question in the other post. Hi, Brian. I'm writing a superhero fiction series with a sci-fi twist. Had the blurbs done by an awesome company you might have heard of called Best Page Forward. That is my company. Thank you, Raniel. Uh, I'm gearing up to a rapid release of four books, but I've had some naysayers telling me it's not a popular, profitable niche. Regardless, I'm soldiering on and will make the best of what I've learned on launch strategy, but was wondering if you felt like there was any truth in that. It is tough, Renee. I would say that superhero books are not necessarily the, um, the most profitable. They're not necessarily the books that are going to, uh, you know, uh, dramatically impact your career, but I definitely made five figures when I did a rapid release of my superhero books, um, the the viral superhero series. So you can make money. You just might not make six-figure money. Look, you've learned good info. You've already written the books. You've got some book descriptions uh, by, by my company. Do it. Do it. Do it crazy. If you're launching wide, I would make sure that you take full advantage of BookBub ads and Kobo promos and everything you can do through there. If you're going, uh, if, if you're going uh, not wide, if you're going exclusive, I would make sure to take care, uh, take advantage of all the exclusive type uh, promotion methods there are. But I would do it all the way, do it to the nines, and then uh, and then see what you can make happen from there. Um, I did want to comment. Monica said, I used to reward myself after every book, but I publish frequently. Now my hubs is like, really? Now we just call it date night. Date night is a perfectly good reward, Monica. I totally, I totally think that counts. My wife and I have been doing this new thing. Um, our daughter is in daycare and we're paying for daycare no matter what. Like that's happening. Like if she's gone for a week, we have to pay for daycare. So some of our rewards, her work reward, my uh, creative reward or business reward, we do a day date, a full day date here in Chicago where um, our daughter's at daycare. You know, I'm an author. I'm a business person. I can take the day off. And then, and then my wife takes a, a vacation day and we actually go have a day on the town. It's, it's a lot of fun. So we're nearing about five minutes left on my uh, being here uh, on Kobo Writing Life. This has been great. Thank you to Chrissy and Laura and everybody and, and Jody and everybody for the opportunity. I am going to just go off of live for a bit here. I may pop back on at the end, but if you see this later and you want to post your rewards, you want to post your questions, I will come back and make sure I have answered them. So thank you for watching me, and uh, I'm going to go answer a few last of these questions. It's tough to do two things at once, to type it all, and I don't think that's must-see video there. So awesome to see you guys. You can see I dressed up for this. Uh, I, will, I will see you in the, on the Facebook page. Thank you.